July 1st, month number seven. Can you imagine we've been doing this every day for six months? Done. Tomorrow, though, officially is our halfway point. So today's show is, great, is good, nice and easy, but tomorrow is the halfway point, okay, of our year to go. So we're halfway there. We made it this far. We're definitely taking it the rest of the way. Okay, today we're doing an easy one. It's July 1st, like I said, National Ginger Snap Day. Ginger Snap are those nice little molasses-y ginger cookies. Uh, crunchy on the outside, kind of chewy on the inside. New recipe, pretty easy, not many ingredients. Actually, this one, the only thing you probably have to go to the store for is molasses. Otherwise, everything else you probably have, you know, from your ginger, cinnamon, baking soda, salt, flour, sugar, butter, you got everything else, an egg. I mean, that's all it is. Alrighty, so I'll give you your measurements for today. Let's get started on this one. Oven preheating 350, because this one is just a quick batter, scoop, drop, roll in the oven. Be right back. Okay, for your ginger snaps today, you will need two cups and two tablespoons of flour, a tablespoon of ginger, two teaspoons of baking soda, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature, a cup of sugar, one large egg, and a quarter cup of molasses. You'll also need a little extra sugar for rolling the dough balls before you bake them. Okay, so let's start with our two-step process here, because that's what this one, is. well, maybe three steps. You're gonna take your flour, okay? Now this one was weird because I love when you find these recipes. Maybe it's because they're from other parts of the world where they use a different measuring system, whether it's metric or uh, whatever. Um, so I love when they give you like these weird, obscure, like two and an eighth cup. Really? Like I have an eighth cup measure. So if you look it up, an eighth of a cup is two tablespoons. So that's why this one calls for two cups and two tablespoons of flour. Okay? Now to that, you're going to mix your salt, your baking soda, your cinnamon, and your ginger, so all your dry stuff, except for the sugar, is gonna get mixed in with this flour. Just whisk it together, so that way this is ready to add to our wet mixture once we have that ready, okay? Then on to our next step, your two, your stick and a half of unsalted butter, room temperature, because as always with our cookie stuff, we're going to cream this first with the sugar, okay? So you just wanna get this going first. Just get that nice and beaten in your bowl here, and then you're slowly going to add your sugar to that, okay? And you're going to cream the two things together. Okay, and you always want to, even though I have my paddle attachment with the built-in scraper on it, you always want to make sure, before you start adding all the other stuff, that you really scrape the bowl, because sometimes you get some sugar and stuff that just, or even when you add the flour, it doesn't kind of mix in and it gets stuck at the bottom and I guess the scraper doesn't reach it. And then when you go to scoop your, your batter or your dough, uh, you're finding like <laughs> clumps of like dry flour that never got mixed in. Okay, so always make sure you give it a little scrape, okay? Our sugar butter mixture is ready. So now we're gonna add that one egg and our molasses, okay? And then once you see that that's all incorporated in, now you're gonna start slowly adding your flour mixture just to do the last step and get this into the cookie batter that we want that's gonna give us nice, round ginger snap cookies. Nice. Alrighty, so just slowly add your flour. Alrighty, so as you can see, there is our cookie batter, or our cookie dough, I should call it. It's not really a batter, it's more of a dough, because it's very stiff, which is exactly what you want, because that's going to make this a heck of a lot easier, I hope, to scoop and roll, because we got to roll this into uh, balls to roll in the sugar and then put on our parchment. I have my baking sheets ready, parchment lined, of course. Like I said, oven's on, 350. 
So these are ready to go in as soon as we scoop them and drop them. So as you can see, we have a nice cookie dough. Okay. So once again, just give it a good scrape to make sure you incorporated everything. Everything looks good here. I'm hoping this is not going to be real sticky because if I have to roll it, handy dandy cookie scoop, I'm telling you if you don't have one of these, you better get one. Let's see now. Oh yeah, not sticky at all. Okay, and then they say to roll it in some sugar. Okay, I guess that gives it that that crackle when it bakes on the outside. You know, like a ginger snap cookie on the top has all those cracks in it. So I'm guessing that's what the sugar, when this thing starts to, you know, flatten out and bake, that that sugar is going to give it the crackle. We've done other cookies like that where you sugar coat it and then you get that crackle effect. All right, all right so I'm just going to roll a mess of these, get them on my tray. They're going to go into our 350 oven. Make sure you space them a little bit apart because they're probably going to spread out a little bit. Um, only about eight minutes. A tray okay these are gonna bake up pretty quick so keep your eye on them you don't want to burn them and make sure you have your cooling racks ready because you know how I always tell you about the cooling rack don't leave your cookies sitting on the baking sheet to cool because their bottoms are gonna to continue to cook as they sit there and then you're gonna you're gonna think oh I got a perfect cookie and then when you go to eat it you're gonna have that overcooked the bottom of cookie because you left it on a cookie sheet okay so either put it on a cooling rack or if you don't have a cooling rack just slide the whole sheet of parchment right onto your counter and just let the cookies cool down that way just get them off the hot pan alrighty be back in a few when this first tray comes out can't wait to try these today it's a real simple one but that's what this show is about sometimes is just making the basics and enjoying and celebrating the day ginger snap day be right back Okay, we're just waiting another couple seconds. Our timer's gonna go off and tell us our cookies are ready. Our first batch anyway, got my cooling. There it is now, there's our cooling rack all ready to go. The thing that's great about this, well, let's look at these first. Oh, wow. I mean, are those perfect ginger snap cookies or what? Holy cow. All right, second tray, go, going, going. <laughs> And then I'll tell you what I was going to say. All right, we'll put that one in there. Eight minutes. Let me reset my timer. Eight minutes. Start. Okay. Uh, cooling rack ready, like I said. So let's get this. Because it only made two trays, I'm just going to slide this one right onto our cooling rack. The whole sheet. Just like that. It's that simple. See? Okay, now what I was going to say was the thing that's awesome about this recipe because it's such a fast bake time, a fast eight minutes, you scoop out your first tray and throw that in. By the time you got your second tray, I literally just finished scooping my second tray a minute before the timer went off. Um, so boom, ready to go with the next batch, okay? This is a great recipe because it's so easy to double up and make a ton of these cookies. Um, but we didn't today. <laughs> Who knows though, I might make a second batch. You know, sometimes I get crazy like that. They come out and I taste one and they're so good, I go, oh, oven's on anyway. It took literally 10 minutes to throw everything together. Eh, what the hell, let's just make another batch. But anyway, that's what they look like. We're gonna let them just cool down just a little bit because we still want them warm and chewy when we taste test it, okay? But right now they're way too hot. Be right back for that part of it. I gotta get some milk too. There it is, second batch, all done. Ooh, these puffed up too. Look at these. I mean, these things just come out like picture perfect. It's unbelievable. Okay. Let's shut our oven off. Although I shouldn't shut my oven off. I should taste test them first just to make sure. Get my other, get my other cooling rack here. I should taste test them to make sure before I shut my oven off that I don't want to do a second batch. But... Okay, so that second batch is going to cool down now, but we're going to take one of these first ones because now it's been exactly eight minutes. They've been sitting there cooling down. Look at this perfect cookie. Crispy, sugary on the top, just like a ginger snap should be, but because they're so fresh, look how they just, they're just moist and break apart perfectly. They'll be nice when they, 
really cool down because then they'll have that crunchiness to it, but still kind of chewy on the inside. But let's try one warm. Mm. Now that is a killer ginger snack. Oh my god, these are so good. I'm in such trouble today. These things may not even make it through the afternoon. And I'd like to send out a couple of these to some friends. So I'm going to have to control myself. But my goodness gracious. I'm turning the oven back on and I'm making another batch. I swear. Here, let me just do it right now. I have to make more of these. Okay. Ginger snap day. Like I said, so easy. You have everything in your house already except maybe molasses. If you bake a lot like we do, you already got the molasses too. But if not, that's the only thing you're going to need. And this whole thing comes together in less than an hour. You got fresh hot cookies, like maybe tops 40 minutes, not even, maybe a half hour. You preheat your oven and start your stuff, mix it all together, bake. In a half hour, you'll have your first batch coming out of the oven. Make these people ginger snap day. Enjoy it. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's the halfway point. I might have something special for you. I don't know. It's Anazette day. So what do you do with Anazette? Maybe just a shot and something fun. We'll see. If I have the time to put it together, we'll see you tomorrow.